hello friends and welcome to my channel in this math video tutorial i want to teach you how to use the calculator to solve this equation and this should be our equation one equation two equation three and this is matrix I want to use grammar's rule to solve for x y and z i do not want you to stress yourself most especially if you're taking exams that is objective or we call it multiple choice you need to check if it is a or b or c that best fits that problem you need calculator to fast track the process if you're allowed to use calculator in that exam it's not a problem if you don't have exactly this calculator casio fx 991 ms if yours is casio fx 991 es that's not a problem i'll do another video tutorial on this so but then what you need to do is just to hit the subscribe button right now and to turn on the notification bell so that by the time I upload new video you'll be able to get notification all right so let's get started and consider liking this video if it will be of help to you so firstly before you use a calculator you must ensure that you take note of the coefficient of this x, y, and z. These variables x, y, and z has co coefficients. Those number that is attached behind them. In this case, the coefficient of this x is one. The coefficient of this x is two here, yeah? and this z coefficient is minus two. If you miss out this negative sign when you're imputing the coefficient of this x of, of this z rather, you miss it out. Your calculator will not give you the right value. So keep in mind those things are very important. So let's get started right away. So this is my calculator. I'll first of all put it on. And when you put on this calculator, you see a lot of things this display on the screen of the calculator. It it is on already. The reflection of this light probably let me make it to show clearly. Okay. I think it's okay that way. Let's leave it this way. Alright. So now what do we need to do? We have to set the calculator so that it will be able to give us what we want. So we use our mode button. This is the mode button. Press it about three times. One, two, three. Other ones we are passing are important, but because we are not dealing with that, and I want this video to be very short, which is why I'm going straight to where you see equation. Like I told you, we have this to be equation one, equation two, equation three. There are times you just have equation one and equation two. When you just have x and y only and z is not involved then you still also going to use this equation and on the equation you see one so just go to where you see one on the button and press one so from here you're seeing two unknown and three unknowns that means if you're having two equations where you have only x and y that means you're talking about two unknown but here we're having x y z then we're talking about three unknown that means you have, you have to press 3. You have to press 3 at this point. So we've selected 3. A1 is talking about the coefficient of this x, which is 2. So what you need to do is just to press 2. Press 2. And then you press equal to. It will bring B1, which is the coefficient of this y. And that is minus 1. If you omit that minus, then it will give you wrong value. So please make sure you put that into consideration minus one and then you press equal to and then it's giving option for c1 which is the coefficient of this z and that is two so let's just press two immediately and press equal to and then d1 is talking about the constant you have in here which in this case we have nine so just press nine and press equal to then it's asking for a2, which is the coefficient of this. And we are on equation 2, the coefficient of this x, which is 1. So now you understand the pattern. Then let's just make it straight up. 1 equal to that of the coefficient of y is 2. So let's press 2 equal to. And then this or that of z is minus 2. So just have minus 2 equal to. And then the constant there is one so we have one here equal to then the last one is a3 so the coefficient of x there is what three so press three 
equal to that of y is minus 2 so we have minus 2 equal to then that of z is minus 1 we have minus 1 equal to and then the last one which is a constant is 5 so you just have 5 equal to you can see that the value of x has been displayed as x equal to 3 you need to press equal to again to get the value of y so I'll press equal to you can see that y is displaying to be 1 and then if you press equal to again you see the value for z you have z to be equal to 2 if you solve it manually you get these values if you plot in these values also to test for externality into whether equation 1 or equation 2 equation 3 you see that if you plot it plot these answers into this equation 1 the left hand side will give you this 9 if you do that to equation 2 the left hand side will give you 1 if you do that to equation 3 the left hand side will give you the same 5 you're having at the right hand side so that's how to use calculator to solve Kramer's rule determinants or 3 by 3 metrics so if you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that when i upload new video you get notified and also like this video share to your learned colleague they may need this video but if you press any other thing on your calculator you may not be able to use your calculator to do some function like say five times five you'll be having challenge in in using your calculator again so what you need to do to clear this off press shift mode then you have all under it is three so press three and press equal to two times to reset your calculator so your calculator is fine and can be able to use it thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye